Okay. See what I'm gonna play before I make my move. Let's see. Just go G6. I want to feel out what he's going to play. See if he's prepped. Okay, he hasn't. Okay, is he going to go hyper? Okay, he's going super polarized. Okay. Okay. And it's just some theory. F6 is the move. Pretty sure C3, F6. I've played this a lot before. Oh, I slipped. I didn't mean to do that. This play zone is very weird. I didn't mean to do that. I don't have the same. Uh, I need to use. I should have played on this play zone before. Very weird slip. Don't know why I played that move. Did not mean to play that. Okay. Um, okay, you can win a pawn, obviously, but it's not so bad. But... Unfortunate slip. It's fine though. Queen B seven, queen there. Like I have arrows. He's calculating for no reason. I think he should just move. Very odd that he's thinking. That was just unnecessary. I don't know why he did that. It's just kind of giving me a out. Doesn't make much sense. Well. Okay. Queen G4 is a possibility. It's just the most solid. He really wants an enemy six or what? Like, okay, I'm not worried. Knight C5, Queen C8, Queen B7, Queen B7, Knight B7, Rook B8, Knight C5, F5. Down a pawn, but B2 is attacked. Also, guys, if you're watching, you should uh, be trying to guess the meaning of my username. It's quite cryptic. So I encourage you to uh, try and figure out the meaning. Okay, is he going to take the pawn? Okay, he does. No surprise. Okay, so he just uh, calculated that. Makes sense, but okay. Obviously, rook b8 is the most natural move. Rook e4 then makes the most sense. Again, it's uh, still queen e6 as well. I like actually. Threats knight d4. Queen d3, I'll go queen e2. Try and go for some short term activity. Okay. As planned. So I've never played in this play zone before. That's why the, the mechanics are just very weird or they're very uh, foreign to me. So that's why I made that slip. Um, Okay. H five. Yeah. 
Okay, a five. Again. Okay. That slip really screwed me. Need a move here. I don't have a move. That's not good. It's really not good how I just don't have a move. Yeah, I'm just lost. Dude, I, I meant to cancel the move, but it just, just plays very unfortunate. Oh, I forgot. You can't do. Unfortunate start. No, you weren't supposed to do that. This is the new link, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Very old, and I rejoice every time you hear the sound of my voice. Just know that down you're smiling, feel the pain. So, baby, don't feel my pain, just smile back. Go on, go on, you know, rejoice every time you hear the sound of my voice. Just know that down you smile. I can't let it phase, man. Just one game. Okay, let's just do it. Let's just go over the classic. See if you were pre prepared for it. Okay, he, he seems like he's, uh, okay. We'll just go with the bread and butter. Okay. Okay, for I've played this position many times. It's just better for black. It will. I need to apply pressure on the clock. It's quite slow. But um Not much you can do in that in that past game after that slip because this is just very bad. It's just past reconciliation. Okay, plays there. Definitely play H three here. F four is going to be prepared. Don't carry on tomorrow. Rejoice every time you hear the sound of my voice. Just know that down you smiling. Good thing, so baby, don't feel my pain, just smile back. You know, you know, rejoice every time you hear the sound of my voice, just know that down is smiling. Don't feel my pain, just smile back. Okay, Bishop D6, Knight F5, Knight H5 as well. I like Knight H5. Just a better position. I have the initiative here. I don't really like these. How do I cancel a pre-move? Or did I pre-move? If 
feel like the players should have been given practice on this play zone. It's uh, quite different. Okay, so the 985 is quite strong. I intend on, you know, playing bishop b4 to remove it at some point. Maybe rook f2, rook f1, you know, applying pressure on the f-file, preparing for the breakthrough with knight e6. Okay, bishop c4. Definitely something I didn't expect. Can go bishop b4. It's pretty natural. Can go b3. Can play. Um, I'm going to work F2. Actually, let's just go Queen E2. And then Rook C1. Actually, I may be misplaying this. King H1, definitely. Donald Trump shit. The world is... Can you slow it down, Hans? Take it down a notch. Slow it down. Turn it down. Slow it down. Okay, I think I got him here. Pretty sure I got him. Yeah, I got him. I think. It's close. Could be overestimating my position though. Very easily be overestimating my position. So that's the key move, right? Kind of the move that's it's the issue. Okay. Bishop H6, right? Yep. Bishop H6 is just extremely strong, maybe. Or did I calculate? He did not. Okay. Interesting. Oh, I'm a fucking idiot. Oh my God. What is wrong with me? Very bad. So bad. Slow it down, dude. If you're not playing 3 0, holy.
slow it down. Don't be an idiot. Skims in the bag. No reason for me not to win this. Absolutely no reason. Just don't get in your way. Okay, so he's allowing this end game, but A3 is obviously correct. His kingside pawns are going to collapse quite easily. I don't even need to take that pawn, do I? Cannot just go up. Ship C5 coming. Okay, very good ones. Five. Okay. Okay, this is gonna get real crazy really quickly. Just have to trust myself here. Maybe this is too much that I'm giving him. Go here. Okay. Oh. Check. Push. Beautiful. Good. I don't get that. What does it make sense? Okay. okay I'm pretty sure he can't take Pretty sure I win, right? Yeah, I win. Let's fucking go, dude. Can I swear here? I don't know. Okay, I, I, I'm sure I can. There's no, I can't. Together, weather. Shoot. Oh, it's just a draw. It's unf How did he? So stupid. Oh my God. I need to look at that. I'm not winning. Very disappointing. That's what super GMs do. They find those moves. Okay. Let's play the same line. Hmm. Crazy game. Don't care. I'll go for this again. Solution is just good. I just misplayed it. I 
should have played Bishop takes here. Just better now. Can Bishop D6. Maybe I'm just not better. Okay, I think I have this that idea, right? Yeah, I think he maybe underestimated it, but um, that idea looks pretty strong. Seems like an interesting sock. I don't know if I really want to do it though. That's the question. Ah, whatever. Let's. Uh, this is a, a fun match after all. Might as well have some fun, eh? But I think I'm doing well here after age four. It's uh, not completely clear though. Okay, queen. Rook f1, queen g5 is obviously annoying. Out of five, out of four. Okay, I can take the pawn. It's playing so quickly here. Okay, so the thing is, so that's, I need to really think here. This is quite the important moment. Can't mess up here. She's six there, right? I just have to believe in this. Going for the slow game, long-term comp. Well, not long-term, it's pretty short-term, but um, pretty sure what I did here is pretty smart. But obviously I took quite the hit on time. Um, Okay, let's just threaten the pawn. I really like how I played this. Contrary to every other game, this match. Actually, no, I played that one game really well. I just uh, should not have been a draw. Okay, there. So I guess I can claim something that I accomplished. But... So if I take, where's the queen going? It's the question. 
Okay, so it looks like he's content with a draw after that move, but I can repeat, obviously, but to move, I need to find something. Think, think, think. Okay. I'll go for the end game. I'll play the end game. I think some decent chances here. I could just lose, but hope that doesn't happen. Definitely playing very poorly. Yeah, I just lose the match. Well, not lose the match, but it's just um. Maybe swindle something, yeah. Just gonna get crushed. Yeah, it's just unacceptable for me. I actually might have tricked them. Creating a, quite a lot of counterplay. Um. Yeah, I'm just throwing like every chance I have away in every single game. So I deserve to, to lose. Very disgusting. Not even me playing. Really bad. Like different persons playing. So bad. Oh, okay. Maybe I get a draw to this. Okay, I get a draw. It's a nice. I guess we're gonna do this or or what? It's like
I guess we're playing. Okay, he's gonna play this forever. Oh, and it is. It's still a draw, but. Um... Guess we're gonna do this. Like, okay, I guess I have to play 50 moves here, but losing this would be quite the disaster. Okay. He obviously has uh, different plans. Okay. Okay. I guess I'm alive. That's uh, uh, a somehow I held that despite the, the, the self deprecation. Okay. If you're watching, you know what song I'm going to put on on repeat, and uh, I'm going to win this match. So let's, let's, let's go. Mm. Okay, let's begin. Bread and butter. Let's go for the bread and butter. Oh my god, dude. This guy is uh, is going for the theory every game. Can't just play, you know, a chess game these days without a a bunch of theory ruining the fun. Of course, of course, of course, of course. He knows the theory. It's... Just trying to play chess, man. We don't need to play theory. You know, it's it's no fun. Theory is no fun. I just I'm just a a, a a lad looking to play some chess. You know, I'm not. I don't. I don't know any theory. I don't want to play theory. I just want to play some chess, man. And and you're going for like the most theoretical lines. And I don't know theory because I play Among Us all day. Like, like man, you really he Jeffrey really is playing, you know, a great game strategy against me. Cause if he watches my streams, he probably sees that I'm not even playing chess. And then I'm, you know, playing some other stupid games, you know. Um, so he's like, okay, I might as well play some, you know, extremely theoretical variations against them. Because I can tell he's uh definitely not studying chess at all. Um, probably playing Fall Guys or Among Us. So I, I do commend uh, Jeffrey's match strategy quite a lot. Definitely might have to, you know, cut down to the Among Us in the future. But, uh, you know, I'm just a streamer who is good at flagging people. But uh, it seems like he's had a book. I think the key has been, you know, the openings and he's been able to, you know, take control of the game. And you know that that control has allowed him to. Well, that's a blunder. He makes a bad move. Chat. He makes a bad move. Um, thankfully, he makes a bad move. For the first time in the match, he gives me the advantage. Yeah, confirmed. Bing, bang, boom. Yeah. I can actually take. Um, okay, so. It's going to be some uh, obviously tactical things happening here. And uh, 
I have this uh, Alpo 75, which should give me quite a long-term advantage if I play correctly. I Okay, obviously that makes sense. Obviously you're gonna play Rick of Fate. You know, the, the question is, can I fully capitalize on the dark squares? But obviously my development is not as uh, great. Okay, bishop e5 makes the most sense. Unless there's some sort of counter. Don't see a problem with this. Seems like I'm just much better. Bishop g5, I'm going out of six. The bishop on e5 is very dominant. Going to develop. Okay, very interesting. So. I'm going to, you know, take this opening as as a win for sure. Definitely have uh, gained the upper hand here. Um, the only thing that could be problematic is this pin. But can't have everything in life. Um, King c7 makes a lot of sense, but obviously going to double. So removing that bishop is kind of the issue. Just go king e8. And then knight d7 next. The thing is, is that this knight on c3 is obviously just a disgusting piece. Absolutely disgusting piece. You know, it's it's in it's just completely dominated. Okay, now just develop normally. Unless um, direct pressure is put on f6. I'll play rick d8, bishop c8. So I feel like once I get these types of positions, I'm just better than him um, in these slow maneuvering positions because you're already going to notice he's just really mismanaging his time. Um, and I've already gotten this advantage, but now is no time to brag about how I'm better than super GMs because I am down 3-1. So maybe I can win the game first and then talk about how much better I am. But uh, these are definitely my forte positions, you know, slow positional games, you know, where you have to make some sort of uh, decisions on where you're going to spend my time. And normally I do a decent job of deciding where uh, I want to spend, you know, the bulk of my time. So, okay, I can play b5 immediately. Don't see a problem with just trading the rooks. Once this pressure is relieved, he's going to face a lot of pressure. But that's a free pawn already. Okay, king e8. Uh, you know, things are already collapsing. Or not collapsing yet, but the positional advantage is quite evident. Okay, he's giving me a pawn. Again, he's, you can see the desperation in his play. Um, his, his pieces simply lack any sense of meaningful coordination. My pawn structure and his long-term weaknesses He's getting low on time. If e5, knight g4, you know, knight d3, rook f1, knight e3. So, again, no reason I shouldn't win this. Okay. e5 makes sense. Okay. I want to get my... Okay. I might enter that way now. Okay. Okay, now I'm really going to play off him overextending. Okay. The entire point of this position is just to sit back and let your opponents just create weaknesses. But obviously, 
I need to start activating my pieces eventually. But again, just need to keep it slow. Keep it slow. Super slow. Oh, he allows this. Okay, and I get this bond again. Just need to keep it slow, let him crack under pressure. Keep it slow. Keep it slow. Maintain speed, maintain pressure, but keep it solid. Okay, that's. That is that. Okay, actually. Okay. Nice, nice. This guy may be a super gem, but trust me, I read one page of Dvoretsky's manual. Okay, I win a game. There we go. 3-2. With win with black. Win the next game. Win the next game. Win the next game. Good game. Good match, right? GG's. Finally. Just it's just about the opening, honestly. I get a good opening position and then I just play my game and I win. That's all it is. Just need to try and get a very simple opening. Like the end games, simplified end games. That's my that's my jam. Okay, well, I'm gonna take, can, can I take like a, sh okay, let me think, what do I play here? Cause like, uh, I need to think of an opening that I can just grind him down because he cracks under pressure and these low time scrambles. Not sure what to play though. What can I play? Shoot, what do I play? What do I play? What do I play? Oh, do I get an end game? Oh, I have it. There we go. There we go. Yep, I got it. I got it. I got it. Yeah, that's it. That is the position I want. Okay. Okay, Willie. <laughs> I had an idea, but uh, he didn't seem to want to participate in that. But of course, as Lord Hikaru does, I will. Uh, Play, play like he does. You know, after all my beatings from Hikaru, I should learn a thing or two of uh, how to play like him. So I'll try to be 10% of the player here that Hikaru is. Um, but... Okay, he plays D5. Definitely somewhat expected but this is even something i'm very pretty comfortable with to be honest i was just to have to think what would hikaru do um what would hikaru do here Play bishop e2 right just think hans what would hikaru do i've watched so many times hikaru plays his opening he whips up his opponents you know, he brings out the bamboo stick and he whips them. But, you know, I, I I do, you know, have a okay understanding of the bamboo stick. But, you know, Hikaru's understanding of the bamboo stick is, is quite extensive to the point where, you know, it's, it scares me sometimes. Okay. 
Okay, let's see. So, A4 makes so much sense, but it is M season. I'm going to fill this really slow. Hikaru would have the patience here. Maybe I've been too patient. I think I provoked that. I think that's a win that he played that. I think that is actually a win. I'm pretty sure that was ill provoked. Not hundred percent sure though. Could end up being good, but. Guess we'll find out. Main issue here is if B4, knight A2, knight C95, there's rook C7, right? So with queen takes, rook takes, B7 and E5 are hanging. Um, could go knight D5 there, and, but then even takes, takes, rook C7, and then rook D7, bishop E5, rook C7, bishop C7, wins a piece, rook C7, it's an issue, right? Um, so after b4 and a2, there's probably gonna be rick c8. But then I'm already gonna get my knight to c4. So I feel like this is a mini victory provoking the movie four. So and he's thinking, so he's definitely not feeling very comfortable here. Definitely feel like he's a bit rattled uh, because he misevaluated this position. Um, also, I don't I read the chat, but please guess what LCW stands for. I'd love to hear it. Very curious what you guys think LCW stands for. Okay. Because I made this username as a, let's just say it's a it's, it's foreshadow. It's, 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 it's a username that is, you know, could be foreshadowing some stuff. Okay, he just blundered. Huh? Take, take, check there. Take, take, knight a5. I should back or just take, right? Okay. Okay, knight a5 now makes the most sense. I'm gonna rip this shit. Knight c3, you can just play rook d8. Rook d8, queen d8, knight b7, okay. Bishop c4 is coming next. I have this pin. Okay, I just need to get this win in and it's an even match. Come on, Hans.
Just keep it simple, Hans. Keep it simple. And if you're one of my viewers and you're in the chat right now and you're cheering me on, I, I, I won't forget that. I will not forget that. And know that there's this thing called Pogchamps going on right now. Don't know why anyone would watch that. But if you're here right now, I appreciate you. But because uh, it doesn't make sense why anyone would watch that tournament over this. I'm going to prepare an IG4. There has to be some tactics here. There has to be, but could be rash to go for them. Anyways, keep it simple, Lons. Dude, the pre moving mechanics are actually so weird. Wait, that's just game. It's just game. <clears throat> Let's freaking go, dude. 3-3. Three, three. Okay. Keep up the momentum, Ons. Eminem never lets you down. Eminem never lets you down. Let's go for the same thing. I like that position I got. I'm gonna go for the exact same thing. There's bishop c4 here. b5, a5 is the move. A lot of experience in this, this position. I've played this so many times. This is your bread and butter, Hans. Clutch it up. I've got the momentum. I definitely have six here. Okay. Take in here, obviously. Okay. okay. The issue is that there's actually no issue in this position. It's a great position. I'm going to go g5 at some point. If c3, I always play knight a6. I have bishop a6 as an idea. Knight a6. Sorry, how do you cancel it? You cancel the premium by clicking on it, I guess. But the, the mechanics of it are a bit confusing. Anyways, don't worry about that, Hans. Just, just play your game. Okay, it's a little bit of prophylaxis. I could even go Rick A7. I think I might go Rick A7 and swing. I like that idea a lot, actually. Actually, go Rick B8. And the Bishop F4, I'll just go Rick B7. And an out of five Rick E7s incoming. I can always go G5 and out of five to kick it. Out of five. Should be G4 as well. Um. Okay, I play bishop g4 because of knight g3, bc3, bc3, I play bishop f3, forcing gf3. And then his doubled pawns. And then uh, even that actually might not be that good for me. But I feel like, you know, this is a, well, this is a super GM. You know, he follows his, his chess principles. Um, doesn't seem like the type of guy to let his pawns get doubled like that. You know, me, you know, since I'm, you know, an international master, I'm probably, you know, I'm pretty bad at this positional stuff. So, you know, I might, you know, double my pawns, but, you know, who knows what a, what a super gym does 
I guess we'll find. Okay, so he 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 willingly, you know, goes into it. But uh, I think uh, I'm gonna go queen d7. I have no rush to take. I have a lot of pressure here. I'm gonna go h5, h4, possibly. At a five is possible. Okay, now I really want my knight to get to that juicy square. Okay, so c5 is really tempting. Yeah, c5 is the move because, okay, can I take and play c4? That's too much. He doesn't allow it, which is correct. But, okay, which is it? Makes sense. I think it's justified to play a five here. 94, the next move is going to be very strong. But um, a three seems like the correct move, but it's difficult to play because it's uh, very positionally unappealing. Um, okay, 94 is definitely not right. I can just feel it. It's just, it doesn't feel right. My knights are going to start hopping around. Um, okay, that's, that's a threat. Stop talking, Owen. Stop talking. Okay, he can force a draw if he, if he wants. Can you go G5 next move? I could also liquidate with D4. Could be some, a lot of trades. I feel like I should just liquidate. No, it doesn't feel right. I, I want to get my knight to e4. So I'm going to kind of give this bait. Okay, I'm going to get my knight to e4 now. Again, I just need to put a feather of pressure on him. And, okay, this should not be correct. What am I missing? Tom does not give a fuck. Sorry if I'm not supposed to swear in here. That's my bad but I will continue to swear. Okay, that, see, that's the thing that's weird about the mechanics. It's like when you cancel a move, you can't right click cancel. Like you can't do it. And I always cancel my moves with right click. So like, uh, <laughs> that's gonna get me in trouble if I continue. That's just a bad habit of mine is that I toggle and I cancel with right click. Okay, I blundered, or did I? Or did I?
Free pawn? Wait, am I gonna win? Oh shit, I'm gonna win. Isn't that fabulous? Oh my god. I'm gonna win. Or am I? That is the question, or am I? Well, I'll take this one now. Quite a few pawns. Stop that from advancing. Okay, looking good. Okay, Gonna push this pawn. That's a win. Holy shit, that's a fucking win. <laughs> I won! Yo, I have to open chat right now. I have to open chat. I have to open chat. Yo, I just won. Wait, I have one more game though, but like I just won the game. Yo, chat! You guys just see that? Yo, let's go. Yo, chat. This last one's for you guys. This last one is for you guys, okay? Spam my emotes. We're gonna clutch it up, okay, boys? My bad, sorry. I, I was just checking chat, my bad. Yeah, I'll, I'll start the next game. White. Okay, okay, I'm gonna open the shots. Yeah, guys. I don't want to see any doubters. I'm gonna look at the VOD and I'm gonna look at the chat. And when I was down three one, and I'm gonna see you guys, believers, weird champ, doubters, all that stuff. I'm going to remember that, guys. I'm gonna remember that. Okay. Let's end him. I'm going for the most dryish position there is. The, 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 the level of, this is probably the most dryish opening that there is in all of chess. But of course, you know, Hans and Eamon, you know, I have my ways of, of messing things up. Okay. A oh, five. Okay, he's, he's going for some very dubious stuff. Okay. Interesting. Slow it down, Ons. Slow it down.
Don't move, Hans. Don't move. Super double-edged, but my position is just better here. Uh, I don't believe that he's fine here. This is simply no, no way. Okay, I just have to convert. If he takes, okay. Now I just need to finish, close it out. Just close it out. It's getting double-edged though. Probably shouldn't have let it get to this point, to be honest. But what's done is done. Okay, that's definitely good. Okay, that's correct. Okay. No, no, you can't mess, you cannot mess this up on. No room for error here, Hans. No room for error. Just, just move, just move, just move, just move. Okay. So the key variation is queen d2 e6. And then um, I have some interesting ideas, but the two bishops, queen d2 e6 should be, is completely fine, completely fine. Okay, now uh, I've calculated the win here. Or have I? I've been saying, or have I way too many times. Okay. Yeah, I got him. This is some puzzle rush shit right here. This is some fucking puzzle rush shit right here. All that puzzle rush. If takes, takes, bishop c4, c4 takes, e takes f8, rook takes f8, rook e7, suck my balls. How am I this good at this game? How am I this fucking good? Holy shit. I am the fucking best. Oh my God.
Oh my fucking god. Get fucking down and bow down! How the fuck did I see that? Holy shit! How did I calculate that? Oh my god, I am so fucking good at this game. Number 32 in the world. Let's go! That was so fucking clutch! Oh my god. Let's fucking go. Yes! Dude. Dude, can we look at this? Look at this calculation. In this position, after E6, I kid you not, I calculate to the final position. I calculated 11 moves ahead, queen, sacrifice. That was the most disgusting shit I've ever seen in my life. Sorry, 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 sorry. My bad. Yes, thank you. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll take. I'll talk to chat for a second. I'll talk to them for a second. Family channel data. Okay, I'm going into the VOD. I'm going into the VOD, and I'm gonna see the doubters. Who doubted? And then I'm gonna see who said, I always believed. That game is probably one of the great, like the greatest game I've played in my life. I'll be, I will say that. I don't think that I've came in that clutch with such a beautiful combination ever. No, I'm extremely cocky. I'm not humble at all. But I just beat the number 32 in the world, so I think I can be pretty cocky. Um, anyways, let's freaking go. Well played to Jeffrey, dude. He's a beast. Jeffrey is actually a beast. But I, I got my positions, I got my game, I got the momentum, and we clutched it up. Okay, dude, I'm so happy. Let's go. Oh, my God. Guys, chat, I'm not going to go live today. Sorry, when's my next match? Do you know? Yeah, I'm not me on, right? What time is it? Yeah, sure. That's, that's morning for me. Yeah, that works. Two, 2 a.m. Central, which is what time? New York time. We started at um, 5 p.m. Eastern. Eight, 8 p.m. my time. Okay, tomorrow at 8 p.m. Okay, 20 hours later. Okay, guys, I'm not going to go live. Um, to, I'm not going to go live because... I obviously played really badly in the beginning and that can't happen again um, because I, I, I played really well at the end where I, I can't rely on myself playing that well in the end. So I'm not going to stream today, but um, anyways, that was, that was hype. Anyways, guys. Yeah. What's up, Koza? What's up, Ramis? Grandpa? If him sounds good. Okay. Perfect. Okay, thank you for hosting. I'm going to go. Thank you, guys.